I want to say thanks on that front to Berger and Jonathan, and the rest of the RSD 13 team, because it has been such a source of, you know, um, puns and um, useful metaphor and all kinds of other things. So um, I'll just start things off with the notion of a delta. Um, we know that many rivers, most rivers end in a river delta, and a delta is a um, wonderfully fertile and vibrant and dynamic area at the end of a river, just as it meets uh, another body of water. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm feeling right now is the river delta um, and uh, all the fertility and, and vitality that comes from that. And of course, also delta is the um, the symbol we often use for change, which is one of the things that we work on. So I'll pause there. Um, I'll let other people sort of pop in with their own sort of off the cuff river metaphors. Uh, Hello, Pile. Uh, what a what a wonderful um, call to return uh, or end by return, because <laughs> um, we're just casually talking about river metaphors in this little moment. So, what was what's your favorite river metaphor that you're feeling right now? I find it difficult ever to choose a favorite because it creates a sort of a linear uh, distinction when it doesn't really accept all the diversity. As I was thinking about rivers, the delta can be seen as dispersing out into the world and coming back to your situation and taking all the learning there. Same as that you can think of the where the first little trickles of a river come together. Those are the beginnings that are so important, the conversations that get started often between just two people and a small group. And it's only when they come together to join that you get I was uh, maybe mostly, I think this notion of stream and movement, streams, not, not thinking about streams, different paces, different flows um, and movement. I think that was probably what I returned to once in a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there's looks. Cleansing, 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 flush, kayak. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's flow. Jonathan, do you mean the chick sent me high idea of flow? What? <clears throat> I was just, I was just thinking uh, in the same lines as big with flows, uh, these dynamics. But also meanders how we kind of wander a bit uh, back and forth and test out things. But we are in a kind of a movement uh, somewhere together. Yeah. I was thinking because you folks on the conference hosting side had to be quite a sense of flow. Yes, Roden. Um, during the conference, and you might be ending that sense of flow now as you exit. <laughs> I think the the metaphor during the planning where things were fl flowing <laughs> around. Um, the, the metaphor sometimes, sometimes at least reminded me that, yeah, yeah, let's just go with the flow. <laughs> it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's weird how we kind of um, reach back to um, maybe sometimes hard planning when we should actually, when we preach different. <laughs> But mm -hmm. we managed quite well, Jonathan. You're muted. You're muted, Jonathan, if you want to say something. Yeah, I think I think you're very right. But I also think that uh, this whole idea of flow also at least uh, color the way things were kind of um, really nicely facilitated uh, by the river guides uh, during the online sessions and uh, also on site. Uh, it was kind of a relaxed and flowy feeling. Uh, it was okay to go a bit over time and the VIPA was, the VIPA day was obviously quite relaxed and uh, and obviously also afterwards. And I also think that the workshops at uh, Oslo Met uh, worked surprisingly well. Yeah. Uh, I was worried that uh, it would be hard to engage people to 
uh, you know, uh, be there at uh, nine thirty on a Sunday morning or something like that. But it was a lot of people, and it was so nice uh, atmosphere. Also, very kind of everything flowed, and it was a lot of stuff that just emerged, uh, uh, which I also think was very nice. I'm happy to share some pictures also from the workshops if you are interested. Yeah, do it. Why don't we take it? Take a moment, share some of those photos, and then maybe this is an excellent segue as people continue to populate the chat with their favorite river metaphors um, to jump into a, the sort of RSC 13 closing. And then once you folks are finished with um, that uh, sort of thank you message, I can just say a few words about um, what might be next, uh, and then we can close there. Yeah. So here are some is uh, images from how people were flowing into different spaces at the uh, Ahu. Um, yeah. And very nice exhibition. Uh, um, the flow of presentations and conversations and fish bowls and walks and talks during the Ahu uh, days. Uh, the workshops at Oslo Met. Uh, lots of energy, many people. It was al almost no, not enough space. <laughs> uh yeah great ideas uh, fun things to play with um the vipa day as i showed before which was this celebration and lots of great uh, examples from practice adrian who was the conference here and then the nomaka retreat being close to nature. We have uh, we engaged the photographer and uh, we will share the pictures, the official pictures when we when they're ready. <laughs> nice. So that was just. These some... are great anyway. These are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look forward to a professional photographers because that's how wonderful. <laughs> that was just the uh, stuff I got from my phone. <laughs> But sometimes that which a participant sees is different than what an outsider sees. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, why don't you switch in from here to your uh, uh, sort of closing remarks. Birger, is that you? Um, yes. Um, I just want to say that um, to my mind, all three or all five sessions actually I, I or i don't know about Nuenmarka, but i hear people say that they exceeded my expectations and my worries <laughs> were gone <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, people said also quite a, actually several people said that the vibe and the atmosphere was very good and um, and mm -hmm. uh, that the um, they really enjoyed that part of it. And uh, of course, um, all the participants have to be thanked for that. But uh, there's some people we have to thank, especially on the hand. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, just bear with me. I have a small list here. And I will just do it very quickly. We are not many people here, so. Um, I start with Jonathan and Andreas, obviously, my co-chairs, who well, have done a wonderful job. We sort of had the main responsibilities for each our part. Um, I will thank Rachel, uh, our, um, what do you call it, pro-rector in, in education, who has supported us a lot. Aisha, Ben and Maya, the um, students who were doing enormous amount of the work, the SDA. And of course, Cheryl, J Cheryl May, um, who has been very, very central. And I'm starting to think about her like mother RSD. <laughs> and you know, it's uh, be, uh, we being teenagers and uh, having a mother is not always uh, <laughs> without friction, but <laughs> very nice. Um, uh, Ture, Aho, Aho Ite on, on Oslo School of Architecture, IT on Oslo School of Architecture. Fred Steyer, who has been very active and uh, he was helping with the workshops together with Ture, Professor Ture Gulden at uh, Oslo Met. 
and coming with a lot of inputs. Hello, Peter. Nice to see you. Hmm. you Hi from you. Beijing. <laughs> I just got back. Yeah, yeah sorry. Just, in, uh, just having a small thanking round, similar to the one I had at the end of mm -hmm. the conference in Aho. So um, I have to thank the whole academic committee. Mm. Uh, uh, Maria van der Berg and Angel, who were working with um, preparing um, the retreat in um, Nuenmarka, yes, in Jonathan, I think. And we had a whole class of students doing help. They were ready, like uh, like this brigade of ready people who did whenever something happened and they were doing sketch noting. Um, I have to thank Mike and Ryan. Peter and Sven Gunnar, Adrian and Tresina and Palak, um, and the whole Halogen and uh, Susanne at Halogen who did the, the Vipa um, event. Mari Suhaime and Palak who did the, they actually got a grant from the Norwegian Research Council to help our economy. And uh, Helena, Alexandra, Martina. Um, and the SDA, of course, like uh, Maria's um, Davidova and, and the general, the board of the SDA and um, all the support we got. I think I has surely forgotten 50 people, but uh, <laughs> we are thinking of you. So um, it's going to be very exciting to see how this goes on. I'm, I'm very happy with how the, the theme and the design of the conference and the metaphor sort of guided our attention towards slightly different way and i think this kind of idea of um, uh, conversations has changed a lot among us and um, i hope that this is uh, something enduring we have some some RSDs that have been um, quite, they, they brought up one one idea stuck like uh, the, the conference we had in Banff, where meddling through was uh, coming up. And, uh, and uh, I think it was RSD3, which was flourishing, or I don't remember exactly, Peter, or was it RSD7? It was RSD4, it was Don Norman. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, the, the meddling through was RST4, but uh, yeah. flourishing. Um, oh, like six, RST6, flourishing, yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, and cybernetic circularity was coming up with uh, Ronald Glanville at the RST2 or 3, I think. Mm. So, I hope that. Um, the work of Ralph Stacey, Patricia Shaw, etc. That was also now is something that we recognize in this in this network and community. So, Jonathan. <clears throat> yeah, I just want to give a warm thank you to all uh, people who submitted the papers and uh, exhibit exhibit. Uh, items and that were you know joining the RSDX with the talks and the presenters at uh, at Ahu and at the uh, at the Vipa Day and uh, and for all of you who participated uh, in all kinds of uh, arranging workshops and and so I just want to give a warm thanks to this fantastic energy of participants and presenters. Uh, this feedback was amazing to experience from from my side. So warm thank you to all participants and presenters and people who submitted and worked hard to mm -hmm. to make this a fantastic uh, experience for all of us. Uh, thanks, thanks to you both. It's been it, it has been quite the the watershed, right? The a moment of letting. Uh, knowledge and systemic design sort of flow through uh, space, uh, and so I, I, you know, I appreciate 
uh, all of you for your work in uh, pulling this thing together from uh, the top level, giving us the riverbank, right, to have this conversation. <laughs> um, Peter, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to comment on uh, RSC 14 in context. But before I do that, on behalf of um, the SDA, um, I just wanted to say, just uh, I hope everybody who's watching this now, who's in this um, audience right now, and anybody who watches it later can really appreciate this moment. We passed 1,000 people um, registered for this conference, right, across all of the festivities, the festival. And 1,000 people is uh, quite a milestone. Um, this is 1,000 systemic designers in the world. And you might think, well, that's kind of a large number. There's no way that can be accurate. But we actually have some data that shows that, at least on Zoom, um, we know that 90% of those people who were registered attended a session, like, in person uh, or in, in the moment, right? So that is such a huge number. It's such a moment, I think, for systemic design. And we talked earlier about the meta metaphors of rivers and flow and flux and to me this um we're in we're in flux now right the field is um from the the birth of it um just over a decade ago right arguably i mean we can define the birth of it uh quite probably flexibly but um it seems like we are starting to hit a stride and um the, there was a keynote of course in person i i wasn't there to to hear it but this idea that systemic design might be the fourth wave i, I think you know talk about waves and rivers i think we're we're there um so uh Ronan said it best uh, just then, <laughs> the little toddler, if you could hear him. Um, but I just, on behalf of the SDA, the Systemic Design Association, thanks for your engagement. And I hope you're ex as excited as I am. Um, and with that, Peter, I'm going to hand it off to you if you'd like to take us through a brief moment, uh, a brief bit of discussion on RSD 14 and uh, contexts, and we'll close from there. You're muted, though. Thanks for the handoff, Ryan. And hi, everybody. Sorry to come in late. I'm 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 um, now at another mini conference. This is one more for students at Beihang University, but uh, here in Beijing. But I'll be here this week in Shanghai the next before returning to Toronto. Uh, but even with all that, I still have. Um, I, I definitely want to have the presence of mind to uh, thank. Uh, Thank my good friend and our colleague Birger Svaldson for, um, I mean, deeply for like, I mean, putting in like a, a lifetime of contribution and, you know, of like, like, like this whole, this, this whole uh, two decades and, and so much, of course, of your experience and, 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 uh, and your contributions that led to um, the first, um, you know the first workshops and then the you know the the uh, rsd in the first place and then bringing bringing that small number of people in to to uh to help to help make that happen over the years and now that it's that it's grown and so many people have, have continued to also stay with it there really is just a you know a very well connected community and it is a different type of watershed and now that you know with a thousand and with the continuing people there is you know a a pool of 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 depth and of 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 new knowledge and of and of flowing out to all the different locations uh you know we had participation from national institute of design remotely this year but it was it was uh you know great to see them and just a, and a shout out to uh, praveen and sahil and their students and everything too for their continued engagement and 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 all the uh, participants and volunteers that have been um that have been thanked but i you know for jonathan and andreas for facilitating and 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 holding the center of the space together and keeping it keeping uh, all of us on track and the river guides of course they were amazing uh the online ex the online experience and the idea of kind of forming them as the river guides with cheryl and of course thanks to cheryl again um our uh, partner in in the online experience and we miss you so and ryan we miss you <laughs> so next year we'll be in toronto so let me start with that and then i'll close the context and with um um i i did share a few slides uh live there um but there isn't really that much to slide about uh about rsd 14. i mean we don't we we haven't developed um a palette a type a, a logo type a um um a a presence 
but uh, everybody knows, you know, everybody knows Toronto. It, it will be easy to get to. It should draw on, a, uh, on you know, the international crowd very well. I think we should um, build on that with a theme of the relationality and complexity that is on the, on the uh, keeping the different flows from conversation and the flows of participation and from all the different locations and to keep that um, to keep that going. So there's where which the relationality is um, expressed as the relations make it make actually make up the system. When you look at the whole system, it's a dynamic interaction of all the relations that are necessary. And if any of them were were um, and, and if we didn't have and they're, and they're more than the parts, they're relationships between those relations that have relationships with each other. So there are many different ways we can theme, we can create categories and themes with this. And so I'm going to continue to explore that with uh, a team in Toronto that I will start to recruit uh, soon when I'm there um, in, in November, I'll, I'll actually start to get the word out and see if uh, you know, and I'll be there in Toronto for a week and I'll use that time to start uh, finding people who might want to be um, on the early planning committee. Um, and I can see a few who are online right now that might, that might, that I will be talking to or might be. So, uh, so if you were to, so some of the other points of this that are actually on the slide, there's, you know, the systems of relations conclude like system leadership, relational management, relational care, pro-social design and economies and civilizations. Um, complex partnerships, rethinking what stakeholder means and, and how are we related uh, in our work practice and in the way that we represent and in, in, within complexity, um, the cultural evolution, social systems as relational enterprises, um, interpersonal, transpersonal, internatural between the different um, expressions of nature and spiritual dimensions. And um, we, you know, we uh, know how to use the space, and I think we have a large community of of people to to draw upon that will that can energize a uh, an amazing conference at this time next year, or it will actually be holiday week October next year, because it's always that time so that we can get the facility uh, the week of um, of Thanksgiving in Canada. So. Um, with that, uh, with that, um, no time for really questions because there isn't that much to answer yet. We still have a lot of planning to do, but uh, we'll develop the theme around the, uh, you know, around this relationality and around uh, what we've learned from. I think rivers of conversation will really help with that. And let's see. So for context, I just want to show um, screen share just really briefly. Um, you should see um, you know, the journal in the, in, in the site with uh, the latest articles um, out, in, out in Formo Hayes, Acting on Emotions, which, um, which came up with his QR code as the last talk of, of, um, you know, the, of, of RSD in Oslo. And so he was able to put the QR code up. It went right to the, to the article. It looks good. So thank you, Cheryl working in the background during this week. We also have uh, Victor Udoas, um, uh, Learning from Black Liberation System Entanglements, the part two where part one was in RSD 12. And we have uh, uh, one more with the systemic design transition framework uh, from Elizabeth Shavs-Gova. Uh, um, and then we have volume three starting already. So I'll just extend to everybody else. If you have, if you're thinking about something for volume three, you know, work it up and send it in to us. We're um, so so. Uh, context is is closing out uh, volume two. I still have to add the the DOIs to these when we have them, but um, you know, I'll get a few minutes here in between travels to uh, get that going. So now you see. Uh, the dilemma of, of the volunteer um, team here that, that makes this happen is that um, we really do work this in as, as, as you know, the best that we can, uh, but it, um, 
but we, we will be trying to uh, extend the staff a bit next year or the end in the next volume to, to add some other associate editors and to develop the advisory and to, and to, and, and to find places where are resilient, where we might not have resilience, where we can, um, and I think ensure a better continuity in, in, the, uh, con in the context experience with the, with the uh, Systemic Design Journal. So um, uh, love any uh, feedback on these, to, on the articles too. I mean, we can also publish uh, letters to the editor. So, uh, so that's, that's what we have uh, from me. And let's see who is next, who is going to close. That, that's it. Well, I was thinking about this as you were talking. I don't know if there is a, a proper final word. Um, I think it would be awesome, perhaps. We said that this was a farewell session. Uh, so if you've got a, uh, the space and the opportunity and you're you're hanging out here with us, do you mind shutting on, uh, turning on your cameras or your mic at least and saying uh, bon voyage, farewell, goodbye? And I think that could be a, a great way to, to end if, if we're all comfortable with that. If you can, you know, so we understand. So whenever, whenever you get the chance, I think we should just erupt in, in a final goodbye and say thank you so much. Yeah, turn again. your cameras on. No, thank, you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you, so Sylvia. Thank, thank you. you. Bon voyage. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.